Hi, I'm Dave Sloat. I'm the Director of Education here at ABC Keystone. And with us today we have Senator Lloyd Smucker. He also is the Chair of the Senate Education Committee, and I know he's focusing on what's available for our young people here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. So Lloyd, uh, as your new role there as the Chairman of the Education Committee, what would you say uh, we can do to help our young people understand what's out there? What, what role do you think uh, the Senate has right now? Well, um, I think there's, there's a number of uh, uh, directions we could go and answer that question. Um, you know, we have a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. uh, throughout uh, uh, a number of career paths across the Commonwealth, um, and you know, there are certainly some really great opportunities in the trades and in construction and some of the STEM fields, if you will, um, that I think uh, as a Commonwealth we need to do a better job of, mm -hmm. uh, of advancing um, and it's, it's, it's education, it's letting people know, uh, you know what kind of jobs are available. Mm -hmm. They're often highly technological, mm -hmm. uh, they take a lot of skills, um, but they, they also um, are rewarding jobs. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, in fact, for, for myself, been involved in the construction, construction industry, gave a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. across the board, um, you know, really great paying jobs. Mm -hmm. Uh, a, a really good chance for upward mobility. I mean, there are so many success stories in construction where someone has started as a laborer or mm -hmm. some other uh, uh, position within a company um, has gone on to uh, not only uh, have uh, family sustaining jobs and a great career, but opportunities for advancement, mm -hmm. uh, former project manager, um, uh, even some start their own companies. There are a lot of opportunities within construction um, and it's very rewarding. Every, every day you see the results of the work that you've done. You're part of a great team uh, building wonderful projects in your community. Um, and so as a Commonwealth, um, I think, um, and this isn't just true in Pennsylvania, it's every, everywhere. Um, sometimes we focus um, uh, only on a four-year college. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, that's good for, for a lot of folks, mm -hmm. and I would never discourage that, um, but we also know that um, as high as 50% or higher uh, of our graduates from our four-year degrees uh, end up not taking a job, or at least their first job, in the field uh, in which they mm -hmm. were studying. And at the same time, our student debt continues to rise. Mm -hmm. I think the latest figure I saw, the average now is 29000 mm -hmm. per student. Um, which is really like having a mortgage without having a house, really, right. because a lot of you know, 29,000, just the average, there's a lot of students right. that I've talked to where it's a lot, lot higher. Um, and so I think uh, one of my goals, uh, the Education Committee and the Senate, not, is first to build a great K through 12, kindergarten through 12 system, right. but then to provide more uh, opportunities to connect uh, industry and our workforce uh, uh, opportunities with students coming out of our education system. And so you do, you do that either through the colleges or with more uh, career and technical training. Mm -hmm. Or one of the things I love about what ABC does uh, is they have a robust apprenticeship program. Mm -hmm. um, and in some ways, for some people, that's like the best of all worlds because mm -hmm. what you're doing in an apprenticeship program, first of all, you have a 100% guaranteed job because mm -hmm. you're working while you're learning. Mm -hmm. um, and you have a, obviously, so instead of paying tuition, mm -hmm. Instead of paying for that education, you're being paid to be educated, um, and and we also know that particularly in the, I, I know the construction industry more than others, uh, more than any other area because I've worked in it for uh, for decades. But uh, we know the opportunities in construction right now are tremendous. Uh, construction companies across the Commonwealth shed about two million, or across the country, shed as high as two million jobs uh, through the last economic downturn. Uh, everyone's busy now, so everyone is looking for highly skilled workers or just anyone to fill those construction positions. We know that will continue to uh, create, we know that demand will create higher wages. So today you're seeing a, a higher percentage uh, of increase in that workforce. More of construction companies are hiring than almost any other field. Uh, and you're also seeing that upward pressure on the wages already. So the opportunities were not only great in the past, they're going to continue to right. To grow in the future, so um, right. I think I think the work that ABC is doing uh, in its apprenticeship program is wonderful, and it's providing, as as it always has, a lot of really great opportunities mm -hmm. for students to uh, have fulfilling careers and to have those uh, family-sustaining jobs that, uh, that that they deserve. Great. 
Uh, as the senator said, Pennsylvania has great opportunity uh, for careers. So we have a lot of careers in construction, and it can be from apprenticeship to professionals. Uh, the key is, is in our program, as you said, I like to say you earn while you learn. At the end of it, you have no debt, and most of you are either buying your first house or a new truck. What better way to have an upward mobility job, uh, have stability, and help support the Commonwealth? Again, thank you, Lloyd, for being thank with you, us Dave. today. Yep.